Well, this is the Coreto Moreno Glacier in Patagonia in southern Argentina, and it's one of the well, hundreds of glaciers that sweep down the continent from the southern Patagonian ice fields. And, you know, if you carry on that way, so south, about, I don't know, about 1,000 kilometres, you get to the end of South America, and from then on, there's nothing to the Antarctic, and it, it feels like that today. The glacier is such a massive expanse of ice that at first sight, just like the cycles of the heavens, it appears fixed and unchanging. Yet seen close up, it's continually on the move, as it has been for tens of thousands of years. The whole face of the glacier is moving into the lake about something like that much every day. And that means that well over a quarter of a billion tons of ice drop off the face of the glacier into the lake every year. It's about a million tons a day. And you can hear it happening just every now and again. You hear this tremendous cracking sound. It really is like the place is alive. You know, it's quite disturbing when these enormous chunks of ice fall into the lake. Although this thing seems stable and the movement seems glacially slow, actually there can be really violent collapses. You know, it's, it's an incredibly dynamic place to be. The movement of the glacier provides an insight into the nature of time. It is simply the ordering of events into sequences, one step after another. As time passes, snow falls, ice forms, the glacier gradually inches down the valley and huge chunks of ice fall into the lake below. But even this simple sequence contains a profound idea. Events always happen in the same order. They're never jumbled up and they never go backwards. that you would never see in reverse. But interestingly, there's nothing about the laws of physics that describe how all those water molecules are moving around that prevent them from all getting together on the surface of the lake, jumping out of the water, sticking together into a block of ice, and then gluing themselves back onto the surface of the glacier again. But interestingly, we do understand why the world doesn't run in reverse. There is a reason. We have a scientific explanation, and it's called the arrow of time. We never see waves traveling across lakes, coming together, and bouncing chunks of ice back onto glaciers. We are compelled to travel into the future. And that's because the arrow of time dictates that as each moment passes, things change. And once these changes have happened, they are never undone. Permanent change is a fundamental part of what it means to be human. I mean, we all age as the years pass by 
people are born, and they live, and they die. I suppose it's part of the joy and tragedy of our lives. But out there in the universe, those grand and epic cycles appear eternal and unchanging. But that's an illusion. See, in the life of the universe, just as in our lives, everything is irreversibly changing.